Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. Um, hey, I would love to have you be a part of our celebration on February 1st. Uh, we're going to have a special episode of Pray Every Day because that marks a year of Pray Every Days. So if you could share your testimony with me, that would be amazing. You can go to, to marydemuth.com. There's a little microphone and you can record up to five minutes of a testimony about how this podcast has been a blessing to you. I just want it to be a celebration of God's goodness. If that's too complicated, you can record it on your phone and email it to me at mary at marydemuth.com. Today we are in 1 Timothy still, we're working our way through, in chapter 6, verses 6 through 10 in the Phillips translation of the Bible. It says this, There is a real prophet, of course, but it comes only to those who live contentedly as God would have them live. We brought absolutely nothing with us when we entered the world, and we can be sure we shall take absolutely nothing with us when we leave it. Surely then, as far as physical things are concerned, it is sufficient for us to keep our bodies fed and clothed. For men who set their hearts on being wealthy expose themselves to temptation. They fall into one of the world's traps and lay themselves open to all sorts of silly and wicked desires, which are quite capable of utterly ruining and destroying their souls. For loving money leads to all kinds of evil, and some men in the struggle to be rich have lost their faith and caused themselves untold agonies of mind. Mind if I pray for you. Lord, we want to be people who trust you for money. We want to be people who work hard with our hands and um, who take care of our own, as Timothy has talked, or Paul has talked about throughout this book. But we also don't want to become so consumed with money that it's everything to us, that it becomes an idol to us. Um, when we live for it, we expose ourselves to temptation. Um, help us to remember that adage that we have brought nothing into this world. When we came into this world, we were naked and we will return from this world without anything. Um, and yet you have asked us to have treasures, not on earth where rust can destroy and thieves can break in and steal, but to have treasures in heaven where neither rot, uh, rust nor moth can destroy and neither thieves break in or steal. Lord, where our treasure is, is where our heart is. And Lord, we want our heart to be with you. We want our heart to be in the heavenly realms. We want our, we want to hear that um, phraseology, well done, good and faithful servant, even in the way that we have handled our finances. And I would argue that how we handle our finances is probably one of the greatest reflections of how we love and honor and chase after and follow you. So Lord, would you just do an audit this week of our money? We're facing a brand new year, and we would love to um, honor you, not to live in fear anymore, but to give abundantly and graciously and hilariously to your kingdom. I know for me that it, when I'm in the hold of money, I have to learn to give. And when I do, and when I let go of it, then its hold on me completely uh, lets go because I see the joy of um, giving and other people then receive your provision. We are actually the providers, Lord. You are uh, the ultimate provider, of course, but you use us to provide. You prompt us to pray for others. You prompt us to give to others. And so, Lord, would you prompt us this week to give to others who need it? Um, and Lord, we pray for those who have fallen uh, in, entrapped to the temptation of chasing after money. Uh, this is something that ruins and destroys souls. What, and your word says that it leads to all kinds of evil. And some have lost their faith and caused themselves, it says, untold agonies of mind. And Lord, I, I think about It's a Wonderful Life and uh, Mr. Potter. And we see like what happens to someone in a fictional world um, who has become so consumed by money. And so, Lord, we we want to be Harry Bailey. We don't want to be Mr. Potter. We want to um, have uh, generous hearts. And, Lord, if there are people in our midst, give us the gumption to um, caringly confront those who are maybe chasing after 
the idol of money. And I pray all of this in your beautiful provisional name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You are a blessing to me and you are well loved and wildly loved by your creator. Rest in the fact that you've been adopted today. Have a great day.